Hey guys, I'm Tara Mikasich. And I'm Kobe Mikasich. And we're here at Freedom Wake Park to do a series of instructional videos for our friends over at Monster Towers. For those of you that are new to boating, we're going to start out with how to get up on a wakeboard. So while learning to get up on a wakeboard, it's always good to go over the motions on the dock. So I'm going to act as a boat and Tara's going to act as a rider. We're just going to go through the steps. There's a few things that you always want to keep in mind, and that's that your arms are straight, your knees are bent, and it's the boat's job to do the work. So when the boat starts pulling, you're gonna just let it like compress you as much as possible, and just be really patient, and then as it keeps pulling, you'll slowly roll over your feet, and then rise up with your legs. It's not really important which leg you try to put in front. Usually your dominant one will kind of take over, and the board will eventually turn to one direction. All right, the two most common mistakes when you're trying to get up is standing up too quick and also trying to turn the board in one direction too fast. So you want to be real patient when you're going through the motions. Once you're out of the water, there's a couple other common mistakes that people make. One of them is letting their chest go really far forward and it kind of goes along with it, it's straightening your legs. So what we want to do when you're riding is keep in mind that your chest should be up and we're going to try to push our hips towards the handle so that you're in a like good position to be drug through the water. So once all the movements feel comfortable on the dock, let's take it to the water. The key thing about getting up on a wakeboard is to not fight the boat. We just want to be in the most efficient position possible. So we start with the board floating up here, and then when the boat starts to pull on you, you can press and you actually bring your heels kind of down by your bum so that it slices through the water. Hope that went well for you and check back with Monster Towers for more instructionals and hey, let us know if there's things that you want to learn on your way forward.